Here we go, MMTs. I've got Apple Computer that just reported their quarterly earnings report. There's a lot of controversy to it, um, but nonetheless, you can see here in the after hours print that we are up here and we hit 102 on this 60 minute chart. So one thing that you're going to learn tomorrow is how they do the weekly options in Apple. We haven't really covered Apple for a while, quite a while. And they finally got a beat. They got it up here to 102 and change. It's 101 right here in after hours. The master of the $95 call options um, that we had some of our guys, our bigger guys, that got into this trade here. But once again, they had a, a lot of money that we put in there. Um, so only the big players with the enough cash flow uh, account is that it's at 101. And here's the 60 minute chart. And you can clearly see the 60 minute bar. And we can see, and we're going to find out what the guidance is. And I'll go over all of that. <clears throat> They say that they're going to see Q3 margins of 38% versus 37.9%. whoop de do. Estimates versus 39.7. Uh, Last year sees Q4 gross margins at 37.5 to 30.80 versus the 38.3 estimate versus the 39.9 last year. And so one of the other things is, is that they say Q3 EPS of $1.42 versus $1.38. So consensus revs are $42.4 billion versus $42.10 billion. That's not above what they said. Q4, 45.5 to 47.5 uh, billion versus now, you guys, versus the 45.0 billion. So once again, there's a lot of uh, pessimistic views about what the quarter is. It got a pop and that is the Apple computer trade. And we just want you to know that the power option for those guys that we have that were in there at $95 per contract 